Welcome, thank you for joining us. I'm Kevin Ogle. And I'm Jolene Cheney. We begin here at 4 with a family seeking what they say is justice. Clifton Howard was killed in a crash last August. He was on a motorcycle when a driver pulled out in front of him. The driver was 20-year-old Miguel Cabral. And he was charged with causing an accident without a valid driver's license. And the family wants to know why he's not facing something more serious like manslaughter charges. News 4's Nick Camper spoke to the family today. Nick. Yeah, the driver was arrested and charged, but the family says the punishment does not meet the crime. The result of the crash was the death of Clifton Howard, a man that meant so much to his family and his church. My father was killed at the negligence of someone else, and right now he's pretty much getting a slap on the wrist. Mariah Howard is the daughter of Clifton Howard. She says the driver that allegedly killed her father should be facing manslaughter charges not a maximum five-year sentence for not having a valid license. You killed someone. You took someone's life from us. So we're not going to accept that. Howard was killed in an accident last August. Officers say Miguel Cabral turned in front of Howard, who was on a motorcycle, causing the deadly crash. We're hoping that uh, we can get uh, the new DA uh, to uh, revisit the case, look at the charges again. Quinton Dunn is with a Bay of Oklahoma. The group seeks justice for motorcyclists killed while on the road. When we see something that there's not much being done, it's time to time to get involved a little bit. Mariah says her father was an Air Force veteran who liked to give back to his community. It seems like every day, every week when we get together, we, we find something else that he was doing uh, that we miss. Howard was not only a member of the Patriot Guard, he was also an active member at his church. His minister says Howard took the lead on so many projects. He was uh, the guy who always you know, brought everybody together uh, for a smile. The family's goal is to bring attention to the new Oklahoma County District Attorney Vicki Behenna. They hope she will add charges. And Nick, the big question is why isn't he facing a more serious charge like manslaughter? That's what everyone wants to know. I spoke to a former prosecutor and was told if there is a more specific charge that matches the situation, then a prosecutor by law has to go with that one. And in this case, that is the felony charge of causing an accident without a valid license. Now, we do have a link to the Howard family's petition that will be on our website.